welcome to the Little Blue Vlog, it's Gem here. Thank you for clicking on this video, I hope it finds you well. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are an existing follower, subscriber, I don't know what I'm doing here, but welcome to you guys. If you are new, then I just want to say that this channel is about mental health, mental illness, and everything to do with that. But I also do talk about my own life as well. But um, I do weekly educational videos on Wednesdays, and I do a vlog every Sunday. And within that vlog, vlog I have a subject that I talk about this week it this week it being this week is guilt sorry if I'm sorry so, sorry if I'm getting a bit muddled but I've this has taken so many takes and I'm hoping that this is the one this is the one that's going to go in this is the one that's going to be used so sorry if you are new to the channel I do a weekly check-in on Sundays and I love to hear from you guys so please tell me how your week has been I do read all the comments and I do my best to reply in as best way as I can this is what this video is going to be like today it's going to be a bit all over the place so welcome everybody I'm going to be talking about guilt but first of all let's do weekly check-ins so what have you been up to this week whether it to be with whether it be oh goodness me whether it be to do with mental illness mental health or anything you've been up to have you been battling with guilt um or did you challenge yourself by doing something that you've been putting off do you experience this, do you experience guilt so just yeah just tell me how you are and um i will look i look forward to reading the comments so i'm going to talk about guilt now and i have some papers with me to to read some stuff because i made some notes so um a lot of the time i do read um, from my notes because I get quite confused quite easily and uh, my brain doesn't function sometimes in the way I need it to when it comes to sort of like talking and planning and reading and it can get a bit overwhelming so um, I'm going to talk about guilt now but I am I'm going to be reading that's a very very long introduction two minutes long it's probably a record for me Anyway, guilt. I'm having guilt about this video because it's going to be rubbish. <laughs> so in small doses, guilt can benefit us, but when it runs free, it can cause havoc. Guilt is a common feeling of emotional distress that signals us when our actions or inactions have caused or might cause harm to another person, whether it be physical, emotional or otherwise. You may also feel guilty because you violated your own ethical or moral codes, such as cheating, lying or stealing, or you may have guilt over your own behaviour, um, which can be caused by doing something you sh you swore you would never do again, e.g. smoking, drinking or overeating. Now I have unrelenting standards which makes my guilt even worse and I experience guilt from mild, moderate to severe every single day. I can be sitting still feeling guilty, I can be out walking feeling guilty, I can be with people and feeling guilty, I can be with Andy in a lovely romantic way and feel guilty. Not because of what's going on, not the context of the situation, but because... I have this underlying, unrelenting guilt that just seeps into my everyday life. How does guilt take form? To, how how does guilt take shape for you? How how does it manifest itself? Please tell me in the space below. So guilt from mild, moderate, severe takes over my life, stopping me from doing and doing things and living it to the fullest. It breaks my concentration which is very true of most of my videos. I do get a little bit over, all over the place. Hopefully it adds to my charm. Um, uh, breaks my concentration, makes me forgetful, and offers, often causes me not to think straight. And it's not just guilt that does that. It's a lot of to do with my mental illness that I get very confused quite easily. So I have unrelenting guilt, guilt that I feel all the time. And as I've sort of said, there's two different types of guilt. There's guilt over causing harm to others and there's guilt over causing harm or distress to yourself or breaking that moral or ethical code. So I'm going to talk about my experiences of guilt. Um, uh, so, so how my thoughts manifest. So guilt over causing harm to others, being a burden to others, guilt about letting people down, uh, guilt over putting Andy through all of my suffering, guilt over being depressed all the time, guilt because I forget important dates, guilt because I don't see enough of my friends, guilt because of cancelling on people and guilt because my because in case of doing a bad video, maybe this one is one of them, um, that won't help anyone or perhaps may trigger someone. And, and again, Sometimes these are completely out of context because I could be in a situation that is shouldn't be making me feel guilty, but I still feel guilty because it's there all the time. 
uh, guilt over violating my moral or ethical code. So because of my unrelenting standards, I feel this guilt. So guilt over not having a job or doing volunteering. Guilt about being a smoker, a cigarette smoker. I really hate that I'm a smoker. And if some of you, if that is new information, please don't think less of me. Not that you should feel less of anyone because of them being a smoker, but you know what I mean. Uh, guilt over wasting the day. So maybe it's nice outside and I'm not enjoying it. I'm not going out. I'm sitting in my room, festering in my own guilt. Guilt when I don't do yoga. Guilt if I eat too much food or drink too much alcohol. Guilt over not having my own place. Guilt because I don't do any self-care for myself. Although I have put some makeup on today and kind of done my hair a little bit. Um, guilt over not having my own place. I've already said that. Uh, guilt of sitting on my arse all day and guilt over not achieving anything. So these are all the thoughts, the distorted thoughts I have going through my head a lot of the time and they can be all consuming and uh, completely take over. So, but guilt can be good in small doses as it can protect us, protect our relationships. Guilt is a signal that keeps going off in your head until you take appropriate action. So perhaps it's someone's birthday, you know that if you don't get a card, you'll feel guilty. So the guilt makes you think, right, I need to go and get a card. I need to take action here. I need to buy that card, give them that card. So if we didn't feel guilt, if we didn't have that capacity to feel guilt, we'd be just doing everything all the time. We wouldn't really care. We'd be sh shitting on people. We'd be um, not, yeah, just letting people down, be hurting people um, and just basically treating people like SHIT. So constant guilt can compete. So, sorry. So if we have this constant guilt, though, that's totally different. That That's something that's an underlying unrelenting guilt that we can't escape from. So we do need guilt, but not to the extent that it interrupts in our daily life. So constant guilt competes with my attention and usually wins. It competes with the demands of my life in general so much that I miss out. It makes me reluctant to enjoy life, even when it's mild. Guilt can make me avoid events and miss out on fun opportunities. Guilt is really, really hard. And I was talking to Andy about it this morning. And I said that I was doing a video about guilt. And he kind of laughed because he said, well, you'll know that one. You'll understand that one. I told my mum the same. And she was like, well, you know that inside and out because that is your, you know, that is how you feel a lot of the time. And it is. And it really, really is hard. But please tell me about your guilt. Do you have this? And this isn't necessarily to do with mental illness. You can feel guilty a lot of the time, even if you don't have a mental illness. I think a lot of the time my guilt comes from anxiety and distorted thinking. But uh, yeah, it's really, really, really hard. And um, I don't like it. I'm fed up with it. In fact, it makes me go even more uh, than I already am. It makes me angry or oh, everything. So please tell me about your guilt. And um, if you are new to the channel, then, you know, make sure you drop a little comment. It'd be really, really good to hear from you. I hope that has explained guilt. I hope that's actually given you a bit of insight into me a little bit more and the things that I feel guilty about. And the things I talked about, that's just scratching the surface. And again, I can be in any kind of situation and feel guilty but the guilt won't necessarily relate to the situation that I'm in I hope that makes sense as well let me know your thoughts share with me anything you like please like the video please subscribe if you haven't already and um, I will see you next time I hope that's all been okay and I'm sorry that this is a bit all over the place it's um, my concentration because of all the guilt that I'm feeling hope this video has been okay please take care please challenge any of those negative thoughts and i will see you next time we did it this was the take we got there in the end yes take care lots of love